Hey everybody, Last Outrider here with another Data Slate video for you. Who likes the idea of flying space marines? Well, if you don't, you will after this, as I bring you Data Slate Stormwing. First, the fluff. Stormwing squadrons are relatively recent additions to the arsenals of the Adeptus Astarte. Comprised of a Storm Raven gunship and two Storm Talon escorts, these squadrons have proven exceptional in countless shock assaults. It is a testament to their efficacy that the notorious elite tech marines of the Iron Hands have recently declared them to be the optimum fusion of strength and speed. So effective is the sudden onslaught of a Stormwing squadron that traitors, heretics, and Xenos warriors alike have learnt to fear them, cowering at the triple silhouette and roaring afterburners of their approach. And now a quote. We are the Skyborn, the Angels Macabre, the death that strikes from above. We cut the life cords of our foes even before they realize the mortal danger they are in. We are the Storm Incarnate, and we will not be denied. That was from Captain Hogandes of the Mortifactors. Woohoo! Now comes the important question. What the fuck is a Storm Ring Squadron? I shall tell you uh, in a second. Here we go. A storm. Well, as they said, a stormwing squadron is a formation that you must buy. So it has. Oh, here it is. One day, one storm raven gunship and two storm talon gunships. If you buy these three models, and there is no restrictions on this formation. If you buy these three models. And it is outside of your uh, force allocation chart, totally separate from that. And there is no limit to how many of them you can buy. It's just how many points is your game. If you get all those three, you get the following formation special rules. One, data lattice. As long as at least one storm talent from this formation has not been completely destroyed. Apparently there's a way to partially destroy them. But as long as it's not completely destroyed, the formation's Storm Raven gunship only has the strafing run special rule. Nice, huh? Gets better. Number two, gunship wing. Do not, not make reserve rolls for these Storm Talons. Instead, both Storm Talons count as escorting the Storm Raven gunship. See the Escort Craft Special Rule. What the fuck is the Escort Craft Special Rule? I'm glad you asked. I'm about to tell you. But basically, uh, what this means is, is that the formation comes on as one unit. You only roll uh, for the Storm Raven. Escort Craft. The Storm Talon gunship can be assigned to escort any friendly unit in reserve from the same detachment. Wow. With the following exceptions. A Storm Talon cannot escort a unit that enters play using the Deep Strike or Outflank Special Rules. One Storm Talon cannot escort another Storm Talon. A maximum of one Storm Talon can escort each unit. Bam! So like I said, it can escort the Storm Raven, but it gets even better. Apparently, it can escort any unit as long as it's not deep striking or outflanking. Wow. 
uh, and that it's in reserve. That's 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 nice, isn't it? Wouldn't you like that? If multiple units are defined by the reserve rules as arriving together, they are considered for the purposes of this special rule only to be a single unit and thus may have only one maximum Storm Talon gunship assigned to them as a whole. A maximum of one Storm Talon gunship may be assigned to each unit or group of units for which you make a single reserve roll. So the defining factor is how many units are coming in on that single reserve roll, then this Storm Talon can escort it and automatically arrive in with them. If this is done, do not make reserve rolls for the Storm Talon. Instead, it arrives at the same time as the unit it is escorting. The Storm Talon must move onto the board within six inches of the point of the unit it is escorting entered from. Now, remember like they said, this is only a part of the unit for the purposes of this special rule and that reserve rule. After it's on the table, it's back to being its own unit. There you go. Uh, independent formation. The Adeptish Astarte Storm Ring formation does not benefit from the Chapter Tactics special rule. But units from Codex Space Marines that are included in the same army can begin the game embarked on the Storm Raven gunship and can embark on it during the game. This is very cool now. So think about that. You see how this plays together? The unit can come in escorting, but it can apparently also have um, a unit embarked inside of it, which would mean that you roll for the unit embarked inside of it and the Storm Talon then automatically comes in with it and then goes on to become its own independent uh, unit afterwards. Yeah, that's what it's saying. And that uh, the game, that, that that unit can disembark and other units can then embark on it during the game that are included in the uh, Space Marine Codex. As long as they're in the same army. The same army. Not even detachment. That's very important. Not the same detachment, just the same army. <laughs> I think you can begin to see the, uh, the possibilities there. Anyways, have fun with your flying space marines. Until next time, bye! <laughs>